Hello, my name is Brianna and I'm with the Shared Spaces team. Today I will be showing you how to scan a 3D object with the Scanniverse app. For the tutorial, I used a beaded wallet as my object. First, make sure to download the Scanniverse app in your app store. Once the app opens up, you can check out the settings in the top left corner. At the top, you have the options to change the measurement units to meters or feet. Under the processing settings, there is an option to enable mesh simplification. In the context of 3D modeling, a model is made of a mesh of shapes, typically triangles in the app's case. Mesh simplification makes the model simpler by using fewer triangles while maintaining its original shape as closely as possible. This feature can be useful for making models a lot less complex without compromising its appearance or structure. Scanoverse can also save the raw scan data along with the processed scan. This allows you to adjust settings and reprocess the scan at a later time. Keep in mind that enabling this option will require storage space on your device. In the lower section of the settings, you can access more guidance on how to scan, view the app's support and tips, check for updates, provide feedback, share the app, and explore further details about Scanniverse, including its privacy policy, community guidelines, and additional information. To return to the main app page, simply exit the settings in the top left corner. Let's begin scanning. Tap the new scan button at the bottom. First, choose the suitable scan size for your object. I selected the small option for my beaded wallet. For best results, I recommend placing your object on a flat surface to ensure a good scan. By tapping the range button, you can adjust the scanning area of your object. The red lines on the screen highlights the included area for scanning. Opting for a small range scans only the closest parts, while a large range captures more details extending to farther areas of the object. Here, I chose to scan the table surface area. You can also crop the area, which I will show you later in the video. Next, hit the red circle button to start scanning. Make sure to slowly move all around the object and capture it from different angles. When you're finished scanning, tap the red square button to begin processing the object. Select the detail option for scanning your object. It will take a few minutes to process. Once it's completed, you are given an option to save the raw data for your model. Select Save. My object turned out really beautiful here. You can see the beadwork looks pretty intact. From this point, you have the options to edit the model, see it in AR augmented reality view, measure the object, share and export it, and of course seek further help if you need to. Tap the edit button to start making adjustments. If you'd like to crop the area to get a better fit of your object, use the crop tool. Drag the highlighted area to your preferred fit. Additionally, you can rotate the cropped area using the slider below to straighten and align it correctly. You can also switch the cropped area shape to an oval format if you'd like. Tap the check mark icon to save the crop changes. To see your new model in augmented reality, tap the AR view button. Here you can view your 3D model through your phone screen and can adjust its size, rotation, and placement on the screen by dragging the object. Tap the screen once to reveal the interface and press the object button to switch to the object view. Tap the top left corner to exit back to the previous screen. You can also check out the measurement tool to determine the length of your object. Tap on one end of your object, then tap on the other end to see its length in actual measurements. Exit the tool by tapping the X button on the left. 
Choose the share button to perform various actions such as posting to Scanniverse's community gallery where your model is visible to others, sending it through a text message for viewing in the app using AR and object view modes, sharing it on Sketchfab, a 3D modeling platform, creating a video or exporting the model to your files. Let's try creating a video of our object. We can change the motion, speed, canvas shape, size of the video and the backdrop color. I'm going to tap the speed button and increase it a bit. Next, I'm going to change the backdrop color to add some vibrancy to the video. I'm going to go ahead and change the canvas shape to a square. And lastly, let's take a quick look at the different motion animations offered. Tap the check mark icon on your right when you're done with that. Once you're happy with your settings, tap next and then choose save video, saving it directly to your device's camera roll. To export your model, you can select from a variety of formats, including FBX, OBJ, GLB, USDZ, STL, PLY, and LAS. I'm going to select OBJ since it's one of the most commonly used 3D file formats. Once you choose your file format, scroll down and tap on Save to Files. This action should open up your file library, allowing you to choose the folder where you want to save the file. Finally, tap the Save button in the top right corner to complete the saving process. This concludes the end of the Scanniverse app tutorial. I hope it helped. Scanning 3D objects is just one of the steps that we cover in our AR Production Pathways learning materials. Please visit the Shared Spaces website or our YouTube channel to find other videos for your augmented reality workflow. You can also download our app by scanning this QR code or finding it in your device's app store by searching for Shared Spaces. I hope you have a lovely day!